What do you consider to be your biggest professional triumph? And again, it can be more than one, personal or professional. I think professionally, um, I feel like it probably happened two, sig two significant times. Mm -hmm. One being when I was named as the um, president and CEO of the Gwen Mooney Funeral Homes. Uh, which I think you know her. <laughs> which was <laughs> yeah. uh, owned and operated by Spring Grove Cemetery up in Cincinnati. And then the second time um, was when a headhunter approached me when I was in Cincinnati um, concerning Cave Hill Cemetery mm -hmm. and that the um, past president that had been there for 42 years was retiring and they were looking for his replacement. And when I really started to look at Louisville, look at Cave Hill Cemetery, the history, mm -hmm. um, and, and really the impact that I thought that I could have on Cave Hill Cemetery, that was, that it was just meant to be. Mm -hmm. and, and I knew that's what I needed to do. That's remarkable, the, the transition you've made. Yes. So you've separated from the Gwen Mooney and fully focused. I on, have, yeah. yeah. Um, it took a couple of years. Um, I can imagine. I still get calls on my cell phone that someone has died and yep. that they want me to come pick up their loved one. Um, so I took a lot of what I would call death calls over, over the past seven mm -hmm. years that I've now been at Cave Hill. Mm -hmm. And it really happened for the first two years. And then what I would simply would do is talk every all the arrangements through that I needed to with the family. Mm -hmm. And then I would call the funeral home and pass everything off to the funeral director okay. that was there. Mm -hmm.